Hi, boys and girls. I am so glad you and your families were able to join us for a Sunday school lesson this week. I'm Miss Hannah, and I have some special helpers here with me this week to help with our Sunday school lesson. I'm going to let them introduce themselves. We'll start right here. Hi. Hello. I'm Graham. Hi. I'm Addie. Hi. I'm Sam. And this is... Hi. I'm Lee. And Lee. All right, so today in our lesson, we're going to be thinking a lot about sheep and shepherds. And I'm thinking that you at home and my helpers here already know some things about sheep and shepherds. So does anybody want to share with me something they know about sheep or something they know about shepherds? Graham. They run a lot. Who runs a lot? Sheep? They might run a lot. I think they're kind of slow, though, aren't they? They're not very fast, but you do kind of see them out, maybe grazing in fields and pastures. Um, I'll just keep going around the circle. Sheep are white and very furry. <laughs> they're, they're white and very furry. Yeah, we use sheep fur for things. What else do we know, Sam? Sheep have wool, and wool makes wool clothes, and I love socks. Yes, we think of sheep using sheep's wool to make clothes. Do you know something about sheep or shepherds? I know something you know about sheep. What? They, their wool, you can make maybe beds out of oh, it. And you right. can also make maybe blankies. I wonder this, why do you think sheep need shepherds? Why do you think a sheep needs Shepherds, and what do you think, Addie? Um, to Here, can you like speak a, a little louder? So to, to keep them like in a herd. Or? Oh, so to keep them together in a herd, so they don't kind of wander off and get lost, right? Because sheep, because sheep need the herd to like to stay alive. They do, right? Kind of their their group is their protection, and that shepherd protects them. What else, Graham? Good thinking. They they also have to stay with the shepherds, and also. They also walk them, and they also might need those sheep to make blankets if they don't have blankets at first. You're right, to keep them warm. Any other thoughts about why a sheep might need a shepherd? What do you think, Lee? Talk loud. To protect the sheep from me. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Sheep have predators like wolves, coyotes, um, coyotes or mountain lions. Um, and you're right, sheep can't really protect themselves, can they? They can't, they're not fast, they don't have sharp teeth and or claws, they're not can't. even that smart. Did you know sheep are very, they're, they're really just not smart yeah, animals. Not they, some sheep are, not some sheep are very smart. Right. Very smart. <laughs> you um, think they are? Sheep. Well, sheep. So these are all really good thoughts, and I bet you guys at home are coming up with some good thoughts, too, about what you know about sheep or shepherds. Before we start our lesson, our helpers here are going to play a little game to help us think about what it might be like to be a lost sheep. I'm going to take that, Lee. Thank you. Um, so shepherds have what we call a sheepfold. It's a special safe area that they put the sheep in at night to keep them protected from wolves or from thieves or robbers who might want to get them. So we're going to pretend like my helpers here are the sheep. And this area that we're sitting in here with the chairs is our sheep fold. And so um, we're going to go two at a time. I'm going to use these blindfolds because Sam and Addie and Graham and Lee are much smarter than sheep. So I'm going to have to blindfold them so they feel a little bit more like sheep who are lost and can't find their way back to the sheepfold. So do you want to go first or second? Okay, so I'm going to let Lee and Addie go. So can you see Lee? No. No? That's good. That's the point. Addie, <laughs> we're going to put, we're gonna put, and so my other sheep are going to stay in the sheepfold for now here, Addie. We're going to blindfold you. Don't move yet. I'm going to lead you to where you need to be. So stand right here. I have already talked to my sheep about being safe during this game. So in other words, they are going to walk slowly, maybe with their hands up. Graham and um, Sam, I need you guys to stay in your seats back there. So Lee, you stand still. I am going to, whoops, I'm going to move this so maybe our friends at home can see a little bit more of this game. All right, you ready, Addie? I'm going to lead you this way. And to make it a little bit trickier, I'm going to turn you around. 
maybe two times. Stand right here. Wait, if you wait. want. Are, are you okay, Lee? Is your blindfold falling down? All right. Is it still up now? Yeah. Can you see? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> You're not supposed to be able to see. No, I can't see. Okay, good. All right, Graham, I'm going to wait a minute. I'm going to lead you over here. I'm going to spin you around. Right. You can keep your mouth off just for this part. And I'm going to spin you around. Ready? I'm going to bring you over here. You oh, okay. Now, um, just, just leave it out for now. Okay, ready? When I say go, little sheep, you guys have to keep I'm not little. <laughs> Try to find your way back to the sheepfold. Okay. Slowly. Slowly. Am I going to hit anyone? Oh no. Am I going to hit someone? <laughs> My body. I'm gonna guide you a little bit safer back to your spot. <laughs> Our silly sheep are having a hard time. <laughs> If you want to play this game see. or just enjoy watching this silliness. All right. All right, come this way. Hi, mommy. All right, so Lee, you have to sit back in the sheet mold and be really quiet. Now spin around. Spin around. All right. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Slowly, she. See if you can find your way back to the sheep fold. Oh, so Sam is using me as a guide. Ow! Ow! Sheep, sheep, sheep! All right, good job, my little sheep. We're gonna put the blindfold away. I'm so good at this. And come back. kind of tied with that. So how did it feel being blindfolded, my little sheep? How did it feel? feel All right, oh, here, one at a time. Yes, Graham. It felt like it was a little bit weird because I was like, this is kind of dark. Yeah, it felt dark. How did you ever, or what, how did you feel, um, Sam? I felt like I was just born and didn't even know how to count. You just didn't know anything. It made you feel like you couldn't figure out anything. Will you put your mask back on? Tight, tight. All right, yes, Abby. How did it make so you feel? Weird that I couldn't do anything. There's no way to go. <laughs> yeah, it's a weird lost feeling. Here, scoot up so we can see no, you when you dark. talk. Like, how it was did it? Dark, like I was under blankets. Mm, dark and see. weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, can you say that louder so we can hear? It felt. Scary. Did it feel a little scary being all blindfolded and not being sure where to go or where you were? Did anything make you feel better when you were blindfolded? Um, mm. One thing that made me feel better was my toys. <laughs> Silly boy. Did it help any? Some, sometimes I put my hand on your shoulders and led you to the right spot. Or Sam, you kind of had your hands on me at one and point. I had my sense it of hearing. Like, I, like I, um, <laughs> I felt like I was blind and I just used someone to guide me. Right. So it was. It helped a little bit to have a guide and to know that you weren't completely alone, right? Did you hear the voices of the other sheep? Um, have you guys really? ever been, and this is a good question for you at home too, have you ever been lost or afraid or felt alone in real life? Not as a sheep, but in real life. Do you want to tell about a time you felt that I way? Oh, okay. Lee, what was the time you felt lost or afraid or alone? When we were playing outside, nobody was out with me. And I felt lost. Oh, so maybe you were outside and couldn't find anybody else and you felt lost and maybe afraid. Goodness, that's not a good feeling. What about you, Sam? When we went to Hampton Sydney College, I, uh, me and my dad were in a store and I thought a number, 
another random person was <laughs> my dad. Oh no. <laughs> I'm like, Daddy! That's not a good feeling <laughs> either. What about you, Addie? Um, mommy was going this way and I was like looking at something and I said, Mommy, and then I just, I didn't hear her and that's when I got scared. Oh, you thought for a minute that you were separated from your mom. That's a scary feeling. What about you, Graham? When I was going golfing one time with my dad, I was looking at something and then when I, I was looking around and I couldn't find him, but then I found him somewhere out from, and that's when I felt lost. And then I thought he went outside somewhere. Mm. And then I didn't, and then I couldn't touch anything. Yeah. So I could be inside. That is a scary feeling. Um, boys and girls, let's think again about, imagine if you really were a sheep. And think about the kind of shepherd you might want to have if you were a sheep. So now I want you to think of like qualities of a shepherd. What kind of person would you want to be your shepherd? And we're going to make a list here. I already started. I have, I want a shepherd who is what? What ideas do we have about that? What do you think, Lee? I want a shepherd that can protect me. Ooh, um, who is, should we say brave? Like, like a, a shepherd that brave, like to travel. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, a, a shepherd that can <laughs> defeat enemies or defeat um, predators. Right here, have a seat. So somebody like who move. is you do not. Right, all right, lady. Somebody who is brave. All right, what about you, Graham? I want a shepherd who is. I want a shepherd who is who takes care of me mm. and also gives me food. Oh, um, can we say maybe loving? Because a shepherd who is loving, we know will take good care of us, give us what we need. If we were sheep, a uh, loving shepherd uh, would give us food, like Graham said. What do you think, Addie? Um, I want a shepherd that is kind mm -hmm. and will protect me from predators. Ah, so you're thinking about me, but you're also thinking kind. And sorry, I'll put this down, but we're thinking I want a shepherd who is brave, loving, kind. Yes, Sam. I want a, I want a shepherd who gives me squeaky teddy bears and blankets. Oh, okay, so that kind of goes around along with loving, giving you what you need. You know what? I What about this, guys? Imagine in that game, if I was pretending to be the shepherd, and I took you and, and led you to the opposite end of the room instead of back to the sheepfold. What about a shepherd that we can trust, right? Um, so why don't we say a trustworthy? This is a good yeah. list. Anything yeah. else you want to add I, to this list? I do. I, 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 All right. I, I, I go. Yes. I go for yes, Lee. Uh, one more thing. Um, I, want, I want a shepherd that loves me and can take care of me. That's exactly right. Just you have like my mom. Oh, sweet boy. All right. Yes, Graham. Yeah. I want a <laughs> shepherd that that can take take care of me and keep me safe and and also why don't we say protecting brave and protecting like keeping you safe all right we're gonna have to move on this is a great list but we have a couple more things to do and a couple more things that you guys can share with us in a minute but boys and girls maybe you this, but the Bible tells us that Jesus is our shepherd. Jesus is like a shepherd to all people. Um, I'm going to read a verse from the Bible for you, and this is actually a pretty famous verse. You might recognize some of it. Um, we're going to read, or it's not a verse, it's actually a chapter. We're going to read from the book of Psalm, chapter 20. Three. I have it marked here. So I want you guys to listen really carefully. You're going to have to put your thinking caps on. Listen to the words I'm going to read from Psalm 23, right? And see if this verse describes Jesus as the kind of shepherd that we were saying we would want with our list. Ready? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. 
Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So we really have to put our thinking caps on to hear and think about that. But what is it saying about the kind of shepherd Jesus is? What are you hearing in that, Addie? That he was generous and he would protect from any danger because sheep aren't that smart and they don't know what to do in purgatory. Right. And if Jesus is our shepherd, that means we are his sheep, right? So we might not have to worry about Uh wolves and we're smart enough to find food and that kind of stuff. But Jesus can protect us from evils. Jesus can keep us safe and comfort us when we're scared or feeling alone. And anything we would ever need, Jesus can provide us. He just wants us to follow him, right? Uh What are you thinking, Graham? And also the sheep can't run as fast as us, as fast as a wolf, as fast as anything. They're probably the most slowest thing. Mm, So they need that shepherd to protect them, just like we need Jesus in our lives. Yes. Grant, I mean, Lee. Yes, babe. Say it loud. Sheep aren't as fast as wolves. Wolves, if Jesus did this, wolves could just catch up to the sheep and then eat them. Well, and if Jesus didn't exist for us, how how sad and scary would that be, right? Exactly. I'm so glad we have Jesus. So, guys, the last thing we're going to do is create. So, what we just read was a chapter from the book of Psalm. We're going to create our own psalm right now. Um, So, we're going to, we have a starter right here. I don't know if you can see this at home, but help me think of this, Graham and Addie and Sam and Lee. The first part of the psalm says, because the Lord is. So think of these characteristics that we said about shepherd. Do you think we could use one of those words? Because the Lord is. What What idea do we have? What do you think? Loving. Loving. All right, we'll do that. Um, I don't have, I'm going to just have to write this with my marker. Just a minute, Lee. Because the Lord is loving. Just a minute. All right, because the Lord is loving, I will never, what? I will never be scared. Oh, very good. I will never be scared. Hey, Hannah, we're going to start off scares. All right. Because the Lord is loving, I will never be scared. Lord, you are... What is, what is Jesus? What can we say? Um, mommy, I need to tell you something. Protecting. Okay, hold on. What? Protecting. Oh, Lord, you are, let's say, our protector. I like that. Mommy, I need to tell you something. Very good. I also need to tell you In just a minute, boys. We're almost done with our psalm. So we have, because the Lord is loving, I will never be scared. Lord, you are our protector. Thank you for I will always, what ideas do we have? Oh, I, I will always what, Lee? I will always be loving the Lord. Oh, can we say I will always love you? <laughs> oh, that's very good. And I'll read our psalm that we came up with one more time. And you at home, boys and girls, can use this starter and come up with your own psalm. But I love this one my friends here have made. So we have, because the Lord is loving, I will never be scared. Lord, you are our protector. Thank you, for I will always love you. Guys, it's time for us to finish our video. Can we end with a prayer? Can we all bow our heads and pray? And our friends at home, in just a minute, our friends at home can bow their heads and pray with us too. Ready? Here we go. I'm going to do God. Dear Lord, thank you for being our good shepherd. Thank you for loving us, guiding us, and protecting us. Help us to always trust 
help us to always trust and follow you. And follow you. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right, let's say bye to our friends. Bye! bye.